Electricity Introduction You see electric bulbs, LEDs, fan, refrigerator, television, air conditioner, juicer in your house. These are called electrical appliances because they all work when electric current flow through it. Electricity is the presence or the flow of electric charge. The term electricity is derived from electric energy, a form of energy that is the flow of electric charge. The chemical energy of coal, natural gas, nuclear substance, uranium, polonium, water, etc. is transformed into electric energy in thermal, nuclear, hydroelectric and wind power plants. Currently, Electricity is one of the most useful and efficient energy used by the people in the house. Electric Cell Ever thought, how do a bulb in a torch, alarm clock, wristwatch, camera, radio and many other devices work? From where do all these devices get energy? You might have observed that a small electric cell is placed in these devices that supplies electrical energy. If you have seen an electric cell carefully, it has a metal cap on one side and a metal plate on the other side. A positive sign is marked on metal cap called positive terminal of the electric cell and a negative sign on metal plate side called negative terminal of the cell. Every electric cell has these two terminals. An electric cell consists of many chemicals inside it. A chemical reaction occurs inside the electric cell results into flow of electron from negative terminal to positive terminal of the cell. When all these chemicals are used up, the electric cell stops producing electricity. In this case, the electric cell is replaced with a new electric cell. Aim to find out the source of electricity in an electric torch. Materials required, an electric torch, two electric cell. Method, take the torch and open its back end. Insert two electric cells inside it in such a way that the metal cap of the cell is placed inside. Now, close the end by screwing it. You see that the bulb lights up on switching on the torch. Now, remove the cells and again switch on the torch. The bulb does not light up in this case. Conclusion This shows that the source of electricity in the electric torch is electric cell. Electrical connection The connection of an electric device with the electric source through the electric wires is called electrical connection. An electrical connection is required to make an electric circuit. The working of the wires when connected with the electric devices can be explained with an activity. Take a torch and look at the bulb inside it. Take out the bulb with the help of an elder. Now, you see that a thin coiled wire is fixed in the middle inside the bulb that is covered with glass bulb. When you switch on the torch, the bulb glows. The thin coiled wire in the middle emits electric circuit. The interconnection between the electric components is called electric circuit. The electric components work only when the circuit is complete. That means the current flow through the circuit. A bulb emit lights only when the positive and the negative terminal of the cell is connected to the bulb through a wire. This type of arrangement is a good example of an electric circuit. Any disconnection of wire from any electric component breaks off the circuit. A complete electric circuit provides the path for flow of electric current. The electric current flows from positive terminal of the cell to negative terminal of the cell through wires. Sometimes you see that the bulb does not light up even after the circuit is complete. This may be due to the fused bulb. That means the filament of the bulb is fused, break off and the circuit is break off and current does not flow through the bulb and bulb does not light up. Symbolic representation of basic electric components In general, when we draw an electric circuit, we represent battery, electric switch, etc. by specific symbol. Cell 
is represented using the symbol battery is represented using the symbol switch is represented using the symbol bulb is represented using the symbol electric switch you usually switch on and off tv fan light mobile phone charging from a switch provided on the electric board from the activity done we get to know that the bulb lights up continually when the circuit is complete but if you want to light off the bulb you have to break off the circuit that means you have to use an electric component that temporarily breaks off and connect the circuit this component is called an electric switch a conducting material is used in the electric switch various types of electric switches are used when the switch is on the circuit is said to be closed circuit in this case the electric current flow from the cell to the electric device connected to the circuit and device is in operation on the other hand when the switch is off the circuit is said to be open circuit in this case the circuit breaks off and electric current does not flow through the electric device connected to the circuit and thus the device does not work electrical conductors and insulators metals are good conductor of electricity and hence used in all electrical connections and circuits in circuits metal wires are used suppose metal wires are replaced by jute rope in electric bulb circuit the bulb wouldn't lighten up you know that bulb does not glow when the free ends of the wires are in contact with some of the materials that means that some materials allow the current to flow through them and some do not materials which allow electric current to flow through them are conductors of electricity for example iron steel copper silver lead tin etc on the other hand materials which do not allow electric current to flow through them are called insulators for example wood wax plastic cotton rubber etc electrical switches wires sockets are made of conductors while the outer cover of all these electrical components are covered with insulators take the electric circuit in which the electric bulb switch electric cell are connected with a metal wire now replace the switch with an iron nail now connect the second wire to the other end of the iron nail you see the bulb lights up that means the iron nail allows the current to flow through it